Welcome to episode 2 in this um, series of collecting Cararama Land Rovers. Uh, the scale we're in is 172nd and as we saw in the uh, first episode um, we're, we're taking a closer look at all the variations that uh, have occurred over the years in the castings etc and the, uh, the, the, the way that they're put together and the uh, liveries. Right. The subject today is the open pickup. Um, as you can see, it's a nice little model. I'll just unbox it. There we are. Right. right this is one of the earlier ones. Um, obviously, um, as you can see, the uh, exhaust and axles being picked out in paint. Um, it features the vent panel is actually in silver and it bears the registration number WWX the wheels are type A wheels or uh, the early version of wheels I don't know if the camera can focus in on there but um, as I said in episode 1 the, um, the wheels on the earlier versions were more defined um, they were better picked out um, you could actually make out the uh, wheel studs and uh, um, the gaps in the uh, casting of the wheels which were there for cooling you know when the brakes were being applied etc it just helped the airflow through the wheel um, this these early ones um, were really nice um, nicely produced and uh, quite easily picked up on uh, the likes of eBay and uh, they sit very well on a, a, um, a double O gauge model railway or a diorama or whatever you want to do so that is that version the second version is obviously uh, a bit later um, again whether the camera can pick out the wheels or not but these wheels are far less defined um, they're not as well picked out at all it features the WWX registration and also has a silver vent panel now there aren't that many differences in this particular model. I, I was quite surprised when, to find this one um, which is obviously a later one uh, because of the aforementioned uh, uh, painting on the axles and uh, exhaust etc. It's it's obviously been made uh, as a cost cutting exercise not quite as well detailed as that but that is nevertheless a variation um, I did think there wasn't any others until recently I spotted this one on eBay and if you look this one's badged as Oxford now Oxford have um, started marketing along with their 176th scale Land Rovers these 172nd um, still bearing the Cararama make but if you look closely this one features um, again 
just a plain base there's no no base uh, no painting of the axles or the uh, exhaust etc but it's got the painted vent panel and if you really eagle-eyed you'll notice the roof the roof is more of a, um, a beigey cream colour whereas the earlier ones are striking white roof and again we've got the same registration number so it seems that these ones have only ever borne that uh, registration number rather than the GPX version you may know different examine yours have a look you may find that you've got one that isn't here but um, they are three variations and uh, just something to collect um, the, the fun uh, the fun of the hobby is in tracking down you know spotting something like this um, you need to have a good memory and um, if you were to swap me you know you can stand there looking at it and think there's something different I don't know what it is but there's something different I can't put my finger on it and then when you get it home and compare sometimes you're bitterly disappointed because you've already got it but then you can always stick it back on eBay because um, there's always people buying these um, and you may find that you've got one that they haven't um, but just keep your eyes peeled um, there's um, there's things to be had out there and they don't cost you any more money um, I think that one was about £4.99 um, pretty much right across all three actually I don't think I paid any more than £5 for any one of them so the bargains are out there and uh, but as I said in um, episode one, just watch the postage. If they're coming from abroad, um, they can either be re really cheap or they can be asking some ridiculous um, um, 20, 30 pounds in some cases. And considering these things are as light as a feather, uh, I don't know how they justify it, but never mind. Um, you don't have to buy them, nobody forces you. And, uh, you just wait, there'll be another bag in there long uh, there'll be one uh, there'll be one that you want, don't rush and get the first one uh, that's the secret and the cheaper you get it the sweeter the deal right here we have um, a UK rail track uh, Land Rover um, it's marked as a series 3 and it is um, a soft top now then what um, what are all the differences so what we'll do for this one we will go through all the possible combinations you can have in this the type fan and we'll start with first off the aforementioned vent panel vent panel can be the body colour white in this case or whatever colour livery the the, 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 um, the vehicles uh, wearing at the time um, or silver wheels the wheels can be the the early type or the later type early type um, far more detailed um, you can actually see uh, the wheel nuts are better picked out and uh, the uh, the gaps in the wheels for the air cooling for the brakes etc they're more defined later ones are um, less well defined as as you can see there um, while we're still on the wheels the wheels can either be silver or body colour registration number as we mentioned before can either be WWX or GPX uh, they seem to swap and change uh, it, possibly whatever they had in the factory at the time uh, gets applied to the vehicles on this model uh, on the soft tops rear window in this case is painted as you can see there windows just painted 
whereas some of them are clear windows. Turning to underneath, the exhaust and axles can be either picked out in silver paint or in this case just left plain black. Another difference is down here there's a plate. It's moulded into the bottom. It says Hongwell Series 3 109 Land Rover. It tells you what it is. On some models that can be replaced with Shuko. On some it can be left blank. And I dare say there's even more um, versions out there that haven't yet come across. So it's always worth checking. Um, which you've got on the bottom there. Um, indeed some of them have no name at all. Um, for this model they've tended to be livery is, is, is pretty much standard there's not not a lot of difference in the livery but there are some out there uh, in particular uh, there's a blue ambulance um, you can have a large logo, a small logo, but we'll, when we come to them we'll, we'll, we'll highlight them so you know what to look for. Um, some of the army camouflage versions, the camouflaging does change. So again, have a close look um, because they have changed the way they apply the camouflage etc. So that's about it. These combination uh, um, you can have a multitude of combinations of these you may find you've got early wheels a painted window or you may have the later wheels with a painted window or a clear window or any combination of the vent panels and everything so you can end up with so many different models all slightly different although outwardly they all look the same so uh, Just uh, keep a good look and uh, you'll be surprised what's out there. The only drawback to this is that you end up with a cupboard full of um, models. All slightly different but uh, um, that's for me that's part of the fun of collecting them. But, uh, Right, it's starting to ramble, so I think it's down for a cup of tea. In video number three, we're going to be taking a look at the um, the AA Land Rover, which uh, they produced. We'll look at the variations that are to be had with that one. AA is um, always a popular livery. Um, people have collected them for a lot of years. And we shall also take a look at the RAC variation that uh, um, Kairama produced. And we'll have a look at what variations appear in that one. So, hope to see you in the next video. And uh, happy collecting. Misery